Hi, I'm Nikki McGacky. I'm the Executive Director at Bolton Access TV. But today, working from my home office, as I'm sure many of you are as well, I've had a lot of questions about streaming and software and video conferencing. So I thought it might be useful to set up some video tutorials to help walk you guys through some of the solutions that we're using here at the station to help stream our government meetings. Today, the first thing we're gonna do is uh, install Open Broadcast Studios, OBS, which is a great free resource for streaming and switching video. So let's get into it. Now I'm using a Mac, so I'm going to be downloading the Mac OS version of OBS Studios. I will open the file and save. Now on a Mac, you're going to disk mount it, which is a little bit different than on a PC. So we will drag the icon for OBS over here to our Applications folder. And again, in Windows, you would be going through the installer process. OBS doesn't take too terribly long to install itself. So I'm going to come down to my Applications, scroll down, and there it is, OBS. Double click there. and we'll give it a few minutes to load up. All right, so this is our initial screen. This is what we get when we first install Open Broadcast Studios. Now, because I already had Open Broadcast Software loaded onto my Mac, even though I uninstalled it, it does still remember some of my previous settings. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to Tools, and I'm going to run the Auto Configuration Wizard. This will help it figure out what settings are best for my personal setup here. I want to optimize for streaming. Recording is secondary. I want my base canvas to be an HD widescreen, which is 1920 by 1080. And I am going to change this down to 29.97. Now, for us, we're going to be uploading to YouTube. Uh, we don't need to put in a stream key quite right now because you'll be doing that as you set up your stream through YouTube. This already has a previous one in there, which is just fine. If you're not seeing that, you want to click the drop down, go down to YouTube. Server should be the primary YouTube ingest server, and we'll leave the video bitrate alone. We'll click next and it's going to go through a series of tests to figure out what the best settings are. Oh, that looks interesting. Well, you can't really see what this says, but we'll go ahead and go apply settings. All right, so you've got Open Broadcast Studios installed now. You've got some base settings to start with. So now that you've successfully set up OBS, I'm gonna walk through the way that we are going to stream our government meetings here at Bolton Access. There's a lot of different ways you could do it. Our town's going to be using Zoom video conferencing. And so what we're going to do is we're going to screen capture Zoom and stream that out to YouTube. I believe Zoom also has a feature where you can stream directly to YouTube. We're going to be doing it this way though so that we can add in some of our station information and other graphics. So here I am with my base setting in OBS. Now the first thing you want to do is you're going to set up your scenes. For us, we're going to make two different scenes. I'm going to click this plus button and I'm going to call my first scene intro. This will be the logo that's up before the meeting starts. I'm going to delete the scene that was already in there just to clean things up. Now I'm going to make a second scene, and I'm going to name this one Meeting. 
inside each scene are sources. So for the intro, we're gonna keep this very simple. We're just gonna use a static graphic of our logo. So I am going to click the plus button right down here in sources. I've made sure that I'm highlighted on intro in the scenes. And I'm gonna choose image. I want to create a new image. You can name it something different if you'd like. And here I'm going to browse for my file. I'm going to use this widescreen logo that we've created. Here we go. So that's loaded that in. I'll click OK. And now I have image set into intro. Next, I'm going to go down to meeting and I'm going to add my sources into meeting. Now, here's where it gets a little interesting. We want basically two things for our meeting scene. We want the video from Zoom, and we want to have a lower third saying what that meeting is. So what I'm going to do right now is open up Zoom. You'll see why in a few minutes. There we go. Now, because I'm on a Mac, what I am going to do is I'm going to screen capture my Zoom window. You can also use window capture, but on a Mac, it's a bit buggy and it flickers if you try to do it that way. So this is a little bit more clunky, but we're going to do it this way. First, I'm gonna drag OBS and make it smaller. I'm gonna make it about half screen. I'm gonna put zoom oops, up here at the top. There we go. Now, back here in meeting, making sure meeting is highlighted under scenes. I'm going to add a source and I want to do display capture. I'll create a new display capture. Now this is looking at my entire desktop. It gets really confusing if you're not quite sure what you're looking at. So I can show you there's a window here that is above the main part of OBS back here. It's mirroring everything that's on my desktop right now, which is why you're seeing this strange, like looking into infinity thing going on here. What we're gonna do is come down here to crop, select to window, and now it gives me another drop down for window, and I am going to go down to zoom. Now you see I've got two options here for zoom, item zero and zoom. You may need to try both to figure out which thing you want. That's not what we want. So let's try this one. Here it is. And it has automatically cropped my screen grab to the size of the zoom window. Click OK. Now it doesn't do a terrific job always of filling your screen. So we may need to do some resizing. What I want to do first off is resize my actual zoom window a bit, not that, to try to get it as close as I can to a widescreen format. Now in OBS, you can click on the red box here and you can shrink and resize your window the black box is your whole screen output. You can also drag this around by clicking inside and doing that. I'm gonna pop it up here. Now, I'm gonna do some more resizing on my actual zoom window to see if I can get it to fill out a little better. Be careful though that you don't start going behind your other window because it does not always see it correctly. I'm gonna bring that up. That might be about the best I can get at the moment. I can also try resizing OBS a bit more. 
so that I can bring this over. And I'll see if I can bring that up. No, that's not letting me move that up anymore. That's all right, this is pretty good. I'll expand that out to fill my gaps and I'm just gonna center it. When you actually start a meeting, it's going to look a bit different anyway. But we just wanna do this to get it set up initially. All right, that looks pretty good. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna add a lower third down here to say what my meeting is. Now I've already created a transparent image and we're going to use that as our lower third. So I'll open up a finder window. On a PC, you would open up a file window. And I am going to navigate to where I've saved that. Here it is. Conservation, March 23rd. That's our next meeting coming up. So we're gonna drag and drop that right over to my window. Now you can see it's still seeing th anything that's going on in this section of my screen, which is why it sees my finder window right now. I'll exit out of that. There we go. And now I have a nice lower third here. I can click on this and move it around. The thing that you have selected is red. The other thing on your screen will be highlighted in blue. You can also click on them down here in your sources to move things around that way also. I think that looks pretty good. I may need to move it around more when the actual meeting starts, depending on how things shake out on the screen. Okay, we're now connected into a Zoom meeting. So we're gonna go through the process of how we would go about streaming this to YouTube. So you can see here, I have a meeting going. I'm conferencing with myself right now, back at the office, sort of, except here's the empty office. You can't see me because I don't have a webcam on this monitor, but I'm in this box here. You can see my name there. Over here, back in OBS, I'm going to click on meeting, and I am going to adjust my screen a bit. Now, one thing you'll probably need to do is double click on your display capture to bring open the settings page and you may need to choose your Zoom window again. That's because every time you start a new meeting, it has a different meeting ID, and it may not see the window appropriately. So there it is. You can see there's multiple options that I need to choose from. The first one is showing this. It's cropping to this page here, sort of the settings page of Zoom. The other one, I'm gonna minimize that actually. And um, the other one is looking for my video window, and that is what I want. So I'm going to tell it OK. And I'm just going to shrink this down a tad bit. Now, there are different views you can use in Zoom as well. Right now, I am in the speaker view. You, no, I'm sorry. This is the gallery view. You can switch it over to the speaker view, and then that will show you the main video of whoever is speaking. I'll switch it back over to gallery for right now. You can see I've still got my lower third there. If you can't see your lower third, it might be because it's underneath your video. Just go down to sources and drag your sources around so that it's back on top. The other thing I want to check and see is if I am getting audio. Now I've actually muted Bolton Access here. I can unmute it. We're playing some nice piano music. So I can tell that that's coming through my speaker as well as it is picking up myself. I'm actually going to mute myself for a minute. Oh, and I see it's picking up the Bolton Access piano music quite well. Maybe too well. Do you see how it's turning bright red? That means it's too loud. Let's turn it down a bit. That looks better. We don't want it to peak out here in the red. If you hit bright red, too loud. All right, I'm gonna unmute myself again. Mute. Now you should be able to hear both me and the piano music. The next thing we wanna do is we wanna set up our streaming. 
So we're going to come over here and click settings. I'm going to go to stream on the left hand side. You can see we've already set up the services YouTube with the primary YouTube and just server. This is where I'm going to copy my stream key. When you start a new stream in YouTube, it will give you a stream key. You want to make sure that you copy the correct stream key into this box. We'll click OK when we've got what we want. Now the next piece, before the actual meeting starts, we are going to go into studio mode. Now this functions more like a regular switcher. We've got a preview window on this side and a program window on this side. Program is what's going over the air or streaming out to YouTube. What I am going to do is I am going to put my intro screen up first. And you can see when I click on scenes, it fills the preview window. If I click transition, it moves it over to program. So if somebody tuned into our YouTube right now, this is what they would see. They would see our Bolton Access TV logo. Now they would also be hearing everything that I'm saying and everything coming over Zoom here. So we want to mute that. We don't want people to hear what we're talking about before the actual meeting starts. Now, if you tune into YouTube, you see our logo, you don't hear anything. That's exactly what we want until the meeting starts. We want to make sure that meeting is selected and ready to go in the preview window. And then we're going to start streaming. On the right hand side here, click start streaming. And that will show you that it's going. Now you'll also need to bring open YouTube and click your go live that's always up in the corner of your uh, live streaming in YouTube. Once you've done that, you're pretty much ready to go and you're just waiting for the start of the meeting. You'll have to listen to the start of the meeting and you'll be able to still hear everything that's happening because you haven't muted Zoom. You've only muted OBS. When the host of the meeting is ready to start, all you need to do is unmute them, click transition, and it'll put your video out to the stream. And when the meeting is over, we'll just do the exact same thing backwards. Click transition. We'll mute our audio. And then we'll go back over to YouTube and we'll first make sure that we are seeing the logo screen up again. Sometimes there's a bit of a delay. So you don't want to end your live stream until you see this logo screen. Once you do, you'll click end live, and then you can come back into OBS and click stop streaming. So that's it for us for right now. This is how we're planning on streaming our government meetings. There's a million different options that you can use and different setups, but I hope this was a little bit helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at boltonaccesstv at comcast.net.